Tangents to a circle. Question 4. Find the length of the tangent from point P, 5,7, to the circle x square plus y square equals to 4. So as you have learned, x square plus y square equals to 4 is a circle with center at origin and radius of square root of 4, which is 2. Right, so the circle drawn here is actually x square plus y square equals to 4. It's not 4. The radius is 4. So let me change the question this time. Okay, I'll write 16 here. So now our question is, find the length of the tangent from the point 5 comma 7 to the circle x square plus y square equals to 16. I changed it because the circle given to us has a radius of 4, right? And equation of a circle is always x square plus y square equals to r square, the radius, right? So radius is 4, so it should be 16. So it's a typing error. So that's good to check. Now, the given point P to us is 5 comma 7. So that's the point. Now, to find the length of the tangent is we can first draw a tangent from this point and then, then find the length. So approximately, we'll just draw a line which touches the cent circle at one point. Let's say this one, right? So it looks like good enough tangent, right? So we have the tangent here. And if we draw center from a point, if we draw the radius at that point, then, then we should have right angles there, correct? So when we draw this radius here, then that radius should make right angle with our tangent, correct? That is the property of circle which we'll explore in finding the length of the tangent line. So the length of the tangent line which we are looking forward to is, let's say, from P. This is the point P and that's Q. So this is point Q. Let me write big P here, right? So P and Q. This length we are looking for, right? So how much is this length? So in this triangle, we know the radius and radius is 4 units, correct? So radius is 4 units and we need to find this length. To find this length, we can we need to find length of the point from the center, right? So that is OP. Now length of OP can be found using these points 5 and 7. Basically if you see, then 5 and 7 means that y value is 7, right? And x value is 5. So think about this triangle. So if you think about this triangle here, then what do we have? We have from here to this place, <coughs> distance of 5, right? This is 5 units. And from here to P, it is 7, correct? So this is 7 units, right? So we can use Pythagorean theorem, and that is also a right triangle, correct? Therefore, OP, So from here, we can find OP, right? So we have OP square is equal to 5 square plus 7 square, right? Is 5 square plus 7 square. Now 5 square is 25. So we have 25 plus 49, right? And we can add this up and we get what? So we get 9 plus 5, 14. And we get 74 square, right? So that is... OP square. So we know OP now and that is 74 square root, right? This length will be 74 square root. OP will be square root of that, correct? Now we need to find QP, right? So now we'll consider this right triangle which tangent makes with the radius, correct? Now here that becomes the hypotenuse opposite to 90 degrees, right? So again, <coughs> OP square is equals to QP square, the length which we are interested to find, QP square plus R square, the radius. Let me write at present radius square, right? Because that will be in general for any circle. Now, OP square is 74. So you, now you see why I didn't really square root it. No, no need, because I wanted square only. So 74. So we'll write 74 here. And QP square, we want to know QP square plus r square which is 4 square 4 square is 16 so we get 16 here right now 
So we can solve for QP from here, right? So what is QP equals to? So QP is equals to 74 minus 16 square root, right? So that is QP. So we can always use a calculator and figure it out, right? So it is 74 minus 16, which is equals to 58 and, and square root of 15, right? 58. That gives us 7.61. So that is square root of 58, which is approximately equals to 7.6, right? So we get QP as 7.6 units, right? Now, <clears throat> so it is important to see here that we don't really need the coordinates of point Q and still we can find the length of the tangent from a given point outside the circle. Do you see that? So that's the beauty. So our answer here is 7.6 units, right? If no units are given, there is no harm in writing just the number with the units, okay? Thank you.